Full court press, the president meets with fellow Democrats today to make a final push for health care reform. We're going to pass national health care insurance reform. But what's in it? We'll talk to Bob Schieffer. Breaking news, the White House gets one step closer to closing Guantanamo as they look to move detainees to a federal prison in Illinois. We'll have the latest on the controversial plan. The husband of missing Utah mom, Susan Powell, is a no-show for a police interview, raising new questions. We are uh, you know, actively verifying uh, any uh, uh, information that he's given us. We'll have the latest on the search and talk with Susan's father. And the blinds in your home could be extremely dangerous. We'll tell you about a massive recall early this Tuesday morning, December 15th, 2009. I'm Harry Smith, along with Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell. Good morning. Maggie Rodriguez is not feeling well again this morning. She'll be back soon, we hope. we got a lot of news to get to, so let's get right to it. Uh, we begin in Washington, where President Obama has summoned all the Senate Democrats to the White House today to try to firm up the 60 votes he needs to get health care reform passed. CBS News Capitol Hill correspondent Nancy Cordes has the latest. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Harry. The president is expected to tell those senators today that he wants a bill passed by the Senate by the holidays and that they need to make the tough deals now to get that done. And based on what we're hearing from senators, liberals are already giving up some of their key proposals. The Early Show continues now from the General Motors building in New York City. In this morning's Health Watch, the danger of CT scans. About 70 million are given every year, but new research shows that CT scans may give 29,000 Americans cancer, killing nearly, nearly 15,000. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to help us with the, way, the pros and cons of CT scans. 29,000, Jen, seems like such a huge number. How much radiation are these patients getting? Well, first of all, one of these studies, Debbie, found that there was a tremendous variation from institution to institution on the amount of radiation contained in a CT scan and it varied up to 13 fold. So it could range from two millisieverts all the way up to 31 millisieverts. This is the, the range in which we assess the amount of radiation in a common cat. Now, what's important to remember is there's a basic and first do no harm. Right. This does not mean that CAT scans should never be done. It does mean that more attention needs to be paid amount of radiation in each one and you wanna make sure that before you can, you really need to have it done. Now, of course we get radiation is all around us and That's we right. get it can you the amount that the patients were scans to what we're normally exposed well, to because as you said just walking around on the planet we're exposed to radiation every day the amount we get per year is averages around three millisieverts the number is three so again for people who are younger especially these studies found women are at higher risk for the for the harmful doses of radiation if you get a lot of diagnostic tests a lot of CT scans especially early in your life they can really add up and what areas of the body are we talking about well for the for most most part we're talking about CAT scans of the chest, abdomen, pelvis, CAT scans of the head and a procedure known as CT angiography which can particularly contain high doses of radiation. All right, Dr. Jen Ashton, thank you so you much. Bet. I appreciate it. We'll come right back in just a moment. CBS Health Watch, sponsored by Silk, strength in every pore. End up much. We've got the five things you need to know to avoid nachos. All that glitters is gold. We'll have all the nominees for this year's Golden Globe Awards and a rock and roll classic from a unique perspective. My son came home with a drawing and I said, What is it? He said, It's Lucy. When she left, Julian Lennon performs early this Tuesday morning, December 15th, 2009. Yes. Here in New York City. Death. And look, look at the cutie audience. here and the little baby Bjorn. <laughs> little pet Bjorn. What's the doggy's name? Luke. Luke? Luke. He's eight years old. Oh, hi, Luke. 
He's like, the Island of the Plaza and the veterinarian. I'm sorry. Oh, do we have a show to do? I'm sorry. Days. Welcome back to the Yearly Show. I'm Harry Smith, along with Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell and a Price. Maggie is a little under the weather. We want her to feel better fast. Uh, with us this morning is a very special guest, Mr. Julian Lennon. He's going to perform his new hit single. It's his first release in about a decade. The song is called Lucy, and it should be familiar because it's inspired by the same woman his father made famous in Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And we will re-explain that story for the uninitiated a little later on yeah. this morning. Yeah. Also with us, Anna Kendrick. She's having an incredible year. She is Bella's best friend in Twilight, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And she's also co-starring with George Clooney in this amazing, this movie is getting crazy fantastic buzz and we're going to see how she's handling all that in her sudden rise to fame and what Will. george is like no. oh thank you good <laughs> for me he is for russ mitchell hey guys thanks all that up in the air last week fantastic movie really good just Excellent. thought i'd let you know <laughs> all right guys and good morning to you this morning an important step in closing the guantanamo bay prison the white house is expected to announce that some of the gitmo detainees will be transferred to a prison in illinois now no more than